tested and tried in the fire. <laughs> tested and tried. Many things that we value today was not valuable. building of automobiles, the uh, steel that goes into uh, the framework for, for buildings and for uh, addition, which is iron ore, it has no value, or very little value in its very natural state. I'm working at Bethlehem Steel, which is a steel manufacturing plant, which was pretty pretty well popular, pretty well known in its heyday. It is, and working in this, this manufacturing plant, I learned some things and began to understand some things about steel. Because there's not much you could do with iron ore in its natural state. But through a process it becomes more steel in the Bethlehem plant was that each section of the plant or each department if you will in the plant was in the process of making for its final use heat was the primary ingredient that was used to refine the iron ore to melt it produce different Steels for different reasons. In other words, one section may simply be building steel for the purpose of building automobiles. So, utilize for the manufacturing of cars. Perhaps maybe the steel was to be used for for iron for iron girdles and bridges and so forth. What a process for this type of steel. Nonetheless, no matter what the steel was, it went through a process. Of, of melting down the iron ore in order to get the finished product. Different grades of, of gasoline, low, medium, high, you know, the high octane for those riding around their Cadillac and their Bentleys and everything else. You want this high, potent, little value. Crude oil is only used in its very raw state and very minimal uses that crude oil can be used. But once crude oil unvaluable material is transformed into a material of higher grade and higher quality that crude oil goes through a process of heating. Again, heat is applied. It is boiled to a certain point. Distillation is what takes place and depending upon the couples will just simply distill out, collect it in a barrel, in a container, and the various blends of gasoline or milk oil is of very little value. But once it's been processed in the heat, put through the fire, it now becomes a value. Its raw state is now use. But after it has been processed, it becomes more valuable. That, that silver ring on your hand, that silver bracelet on your wrist, that silver chain hanging from your neck has to go through a process. in order to be utilized. And the interesting thing about, about the process or refining, if you will, of And he must be there attentive to watching the flame and that piece of silver. And he holds it, he heats it up the middle portion of it. So at the end, he has this refined, this refined silver that he uses. Now how does he know whether or not 
we're to take it and we know that all things work together for the good for them that love God and it's the call according to his purpose. But the key text says this, it says that them he predestined to be conformed to the image. However, Christians in their raw state, in their natural state, do not look like Christ. Morning and, 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 and uh, the preaching was going forth, the service was high, and the Holy Spirit was moving in you and, 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 and caused you to run down to the altar. You know, you, you, you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And in that moment, in the family of God, when you are now a member, in God's family, you do not look like Christ in your raw and natural state. Most Christians come in the middle like the world, they act like the world, talk like the world, dress like the world, walk like the world, speak like the world. And some folk have a dinner. You came into a relationship or accepted Christ as your Savior does not automatically make you look at this text on today. And the first thing that we need to understand about it is this. The writer tested trials. Let me say up front, let me make this perfectly clear. Let me see if I can get you to understand this. Every piece of iron ore in its very raw natural state coming into the plant is eventually diverted. by which it will go into in order to mold it, in order to fire it up, in order to refine it, so that it becomes the final of it. So that everything that comes into the, to the, to the plant has a particular purpose in which it must be redesigned. Refine, refine in order to fulfill its purpose. Romans 12 and 1 says, I beseech ye, brother, portion of service, your reasonable portion of worship, your reasonable portion. I am all coming into I don't want to go into building ships. It can't say any of those things. It has no choice. It has no matter. It is determined when it comes into the building, the plant manager with the talents and ability. But the reality about it is that unless we make the decision to engage in the process, no change. I remember. Uh, Church, I got saved at, and, and, and you know, Baptist church, and, and, and one of the one of the women in the church came up to me, and she said to me, you know, she said, you know, I've been walking with the Lord for 20 years, and I am the same way I was when I first came to the Lord. And when I heard her make that statement, I got away from her because. And tried in the fire. Where am I going with it? Let me just preach this way I want to preach that okay. you know, let, you know, the, you know, Right off the front, let's, 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 let, let, let's just deal with the issue of testing and trial. Okay? There will be tests and there will be trials. Okay? Trial is those things the enemy will come up against to pull you away from Christ and to get you to follow him. So those are the trials, those are the things that will come up. 
testing on the other hand, become a member of the body, and then talk about the fact that, you know, you don't understand why these things have happened to you. Get over it. There will be trials. There will be tested. But it's understanding what. When they are suffering, when they are going through, they are surprised and astonished, and they wonder why God does not protect them. For trials are different because fiery trials are used for the purpose of refining you. They are used for the purpose of molding and shaping you. There is a reason and a purpose. God did not just save you to sit in the building. He has a purpose, he has a reason, he has a plan, he has a direction. Make a decision that yes, Lord, use me. The moment you open your mouth and say, Lord, use me, Lord. Do whatever you want to do with me, Lord. Just Do it. You have offered up yourself. You have offered yourself up to the Lord. You are now in the process. You are now in the testing, and you will be molded and not grow. This verse says that God allows suffering, and He allows persecution. for you to do. But you first have to acknowledge the fact and join in on the problem. In a sensitive world, it's not an easy thing. Unless you are fully committed because Christ needs you to make a Out of the heat, when there's enough heat, when it has reached its refined point, when he can look at the silver and see his image in it, he no product to live out his intended purpose. For instance, if his intended purpose is to be utilized in the framework of building automobiles, you know, the first thing that Peter wants us to understand in this text is that you have to make the decision for full commitment. Unless you are fully committed, you won't go through the trial. You won't submit to the persecution. You will. For your life. But in order to be part of the process, if you will, you have to, at some point, do not in any way, shape, or form resemble the image of Christ. Now, you may come in on, on, on Sunday. When, when, when the preacher opens up the doors of the church and you and you ran down there to the altar and you and you gave your life, you know, as you as you stood there before the preacher, he heats it up. And while it's heating up, he's watching the transformation that's taking place. The impurities are, are burning off and, and dribbling down onto the if you will, to extract out of it the, the pure essence that will be needed for making the steel. Now since each part of the plant for bridges and all of these things, for, for the building of ships, the steel that goes into that, in its raw state, in its very natural the suffering and the pain and the agony and everything else that they have to go through. This is especially true of fiery trials. Fiery Upon my discharge from, from the Army, I lived in the city of Baltimore for, for several years. Working there, I got a job no longer in existence today, 
But Bethlehem still was the key manufacturer of steel for our nation. Valuable once it's endured the process. One of the things about about um, about manufacturing in its natural or raw state. For instance, uh, steel that we use for the steel had to have certain. Uh, had to be refined a certain way, tempered a certain way, certain specifications and grade was only necessary to be used. You may not be as, 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 as rigid or, as, or the heat may not be, need to be as high because the quality may not need to be that pure. But now product of steel that was required. It's just like anything with gasoline. We, we pull up to our pumps and, and, and we fill our cars with whatever has been refined in the fire. Because fire again, heat again, is the means by which this natural the plant has no choice in how it is used in the production process. It can't say I don't want to be part of a car. It can't say steel for a particular purpose. And in order to produce that steel, meet the specifications and the grade required. The, 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 the type of gasoline or, or, or byproduct that you want, you heat it to a certain temperature and those particular chemicals silver is that the silversmith heats up a flame. He takes the silver, holds the silver in the flame. Process. Offer yourselves as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God. Live in a Christian life, uh, hold on for, me, for use. The same thing goes to one of the other interesting processes is the, the taking of the term where we'll go.